Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day. So I'm doing the long-awaited MAC lipstick collection with live lip swatches. My lips are going to kill me later, but I'm doing this just for you. <laughs> so let's get started. I'm going to start out with my nudes first. And the only lipstick I couldn't find was Snob. I don't know what I did with it, but... So the first lipstick that I'm going to start out with is... Flair for Finery, and this is available at counters now, and this is in the collection Divine Night collection, and it's just, just a really beautiful pinkish nude. It has more pink than peach undertones to it. It's just such a beautiful color. What I'm going to do is apply some MAC um, Prep and Prime to my lips. This is for eyes and lips, just so you guys can get the true color of the lipsticks. So this is Flare for Finery. The next lipstick that I have is Creme de Nude, which has a little bit of peach undertones more than pink. So it's more flesh tone color. Again, this was Creme de Nude. The next lipstick that I have is Angel, and it's a beautiful pink nude, and it's a frost. And that is Angel. The next lipstick that I have is Myth, and this is definitely the most nude of nudes. It's very flesh toned and peachy toned, and it is a satin finish. So there is Myth. The next color that I have is from the Mineralized collection, and this color is called Dreaminess, and it's a Mineralized Rich. It's a beautiful pinkish mauve color. And very feels very nice on the lips. Again, this is Dreaminess. The next lipstick I have is called Hue, and this is a glaze. This is well loved. I need a new one. And this is just a peachy pink. And it's a great lipstick topper. So this is Hue. The next lipstick that I have is called Faux. And this is more of a mauvish nude with a slight brown undertone. And this is a satin finish. It's really pretty and does not feel too drying on the lips. This is one of my favorite lipsticks. The next lipstick that I have is called By Design. This came out with the Indulge collection. This is a frost, and it's kind of a beige bronze frost color. So you could probably pick this up at a local CCO. Again, that was 
by design. The next lipstick that I have is called Shy Girl. This is in their permanent collection, but it has limited edition packaging. This is a cream sheen. And this is a very peachy nude. Very peachy. So this is Shy Girl. The next color that I have is called Altered Beige. This is one of my favorite nude lipsticks. This came out with the Temperature Rising collection. It is just a gorgeous nude. And I like to pair it with other lipsticks as well. I like to put half red or strip down with this lip stick. And again, this was the, in the Temperature Rising collection called Altered Beige. The next lipstick that I have is called Pretty Please, and this is a luster. And this is really good to top off other lipsticks. This is has pink undertones and is really pretty as a frost. Um, just to put over a nude or even in the center of like a red lip. This is one of my favorites, although it doesn't look like much. Paired with lip liners, it is really gorgeous. This is Pretty Please. Again, it's a luster finish. Next I have Viva Glam 5, and this is really popular and pretty. It's brown with a little bit of red undertones in it. So that's what it looks like on the lips, and this is a luster finish. The next lipstick that I have is called Cream Cup, and this is a cream sheen. It's a really pretty um, pinkish nude like Angel, but not a frost. And that is Cream Cup. The next color that I have is called Feed the Senses, and this came out with the Indulge collection, and this is a mauvish nude color. It's kind of hard to describe, but it is very pretty. And this is a luster finish. The next color that I have is Viva Glam Nikki 1. This is a satin and it's a bright coralish pink. Very pigmented. And this is Viva Glam Nikki. The next lipstick that I have is called Just a Bite and this is a satin finish. This also came out with the Indulge collection and it is a darker burgundy wine color. With more red undertones to it. And again, that was just a bite and it is satin finish. The next lipstick that I have is an Amplified and this is called Girl About Town. And this is a beautiful pinkish purple lipstick. Very, very vibrant <laughs> and pretty. So this was Girl About Town. And again, that was an amplified finish. The next color I have is Viva Glam Nikki 2, and this is just a really pretty lavender color.
color. And that is Viva Glam Nikki 2, and this is a amplified finish. Femme. And this is a beautiful mauve color with hints of pink and brown undertones to it. And it is a frost. I don't find MAC's uh, frost lipsticks to be really frosty, so I love them. And that is Creme de la Femme. So I found Snob, and this is a satin finish. This is very popular. It's a very blue undertone of pink. So there is Snob. And this is a satin finish. The next lipstick that I have is Saint Germain. This is a very hot Barbie pink. And this is a amplified finish. You do have to be kind of careful with this one because if you have dry lips it will definitely show up. Um, your little imperfection so I'll make sure you exfoliate with this one. The next color I have is Pink Nouveau and this is a very bright pink color with I don't know it's just it's kind of a hot pink color. I get a lot of compliments when I wear this lipstick. So there is Pink Nouveau, and this is a satin. The next color I have is a luster finish, and this is Girl Next Door, and this was in the Betty and Veronica line. And this is just a very pale pink. So this is girl next door. The next color that I have is also from the Betty and Veronica and this is called Betty Bright and this is a very hot peach coral and this is a satin. The next lipstick that I have is from the Mineralized line as well, and this is called Lady at Play. And this is a beautiful hot tamale reddish coral. So that was Lady at Play. And this is from the Mineral Rich line, which I really like. They are so soft on the lips. The next color that I'm going to show you is called Please Me. And this is a really pretty pinkish... It's in the nude family. It's really pretty. And this is a matte finish. And this is Please Me. It's called Up the Amp. And this is an amplified finish. And this is a very nice purple color. Love it. So this is up the amp, and again this is 
an amplified finish. The next color that I have is called Coral Bliss and this is a cream sheen finish and it is just a really beautiful coral color. Oh my gosh, it's falling out of the tube. What the heck? So this is Coral Bliss Cream Sheen Formula. The next color I have is a matte, and it's the famous Candy Yum Yum, which is the brightest neon pink you will ever see. And Candy Yum Yum is a matte finish. The next color is matte, and this is Russian Red. And it is a very deep red. It's really nice. And it's a matte. So there's Russian Red. The next color I have is from the Hey Sailor collection, and this is Red Racer, and it's a satin finish, and it's a nice classic red. A little bit more brighter than Russian Red. The next color I have is a Frost, and it is Viva Glam 4. And this is a really darkish, reddish, brownish lipstick. <laughs> Hard to describe. But it's very pretty and really wearable. Again, that was Viva Glam 4. And it is a frost. The next color I have is matte and it is Ruby Woo, which is a very classic deep red. So this is Ruby Woo and this is a matte finish. The next color that I have is called Morange, and this is an amplified finish, and it is a bright orange color. It feels really nice on the lips and makes your teeth appear whiter. I probably have lipstick smeared everywhere. <laughs> Anyways, the next color I have is a Frost, and it's called Rambling Rose, and this is a beautiful color. Not a lot of people talk about this here on YouTube, but it's gorgeous. It's a peachy bronze color. <clears throat> the next color I have is called the next color that I have is called Pink Pearl Pop, and this is a cream sheen. And this is a bright pink. Since it is a cream sheen formula, it goes on a little bit lighter than it looks in the tube. But it's just a really nice pink. So that's Pink Pearl Pop and it's a cream sheen. The next color I have is called Hang Up and this is a really beautiful dark wine color. It's 
and Hang Up is a cream sheen as well. The next color I have is one of my favorites and it's called CB96 and it is a really pretty coral orange with bronze and it's a frost finish. With hints of red in it, it's so pretty. So there is CB96. The next color I have is a matte, and this is called a blaze. And a blaze is a beautiful color. It is orangish, reddish, with some pink undertones. Whoops. This is Max Ablaze. Lickable, and this is a cream sheen. And this is a really pretty light wine color. With more pink undertones. And that is likable. Or is this lickable? I think it's lickable. Yeah, lickable. The next color that I have is called I'm Impassioned. I'm Passioned, or I'm Impassioned, however you want to pronounce it. This is an amplified finish, and it is a bright pink. So this is I'm passioned or I'm impassioned. The next color I have in my very last color is is an amplified and this is in the collection Divine Nights and this is called Dark Deed. It's very beautiful. So I definitely recommend this one if you can get your hands on it. It should be at your local counter. And this is Dark Deed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Please, next Monday, check out my girlfriend's video. Her name is May for Daisy, also known as Lindsay. And I'll have her link in the description box below. I probably have lipstick all over my face. But... This was nonetheless a fun video to do, and I'm glad that you guys finally got to see it. So please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'll have the links below, and until next time, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.